while, la fia dans la robe blanche, which is goodbye girl in the white dress. We were sitting on my rooftop, contemplating the moon. It was 1 a.m., and your one-way flight out of the country left at noon when you looked up at me and said, would you hate me if I kissed you right now? We both knew that the long-term answer was yes, but that's not the answer either of us wanted to hear. We both wanted to know, so that's the answer that I chose. You tasted like hot chocolate. It made sense, because that's what we've been drinking. It was just warmer than I'd expected, better than I'd expected. The best thing I'd ever experienced up to then and still have to this day. All of a sudden, the roof we were sitting on was gone. Just us, among the stars we'd just been watching. My palm on your back, your hands in my hair, your lips against mine. Us, a supernova against our stars. The first time I saw you, you were wearing a white dress. The white dress. The white dress that I would eventually come to know and love. The white dress that was just a little bit see-through, which is probably why you caught the attention of every dude in the room. I just hope they saw you like I did. The way you walked, the way you moved, the way you carried yourself like you knew that you controlled every dude in view, especially in the room. You were more than the dress. Which is why my heart quickly became a distressed mess, stammering, who is that? Through a friend, I learned, I learned your name, and sadly the fact that you were happily in another's arm. So I moved on. So I thought. A year later, we're in a park, it's getting dark, and honestly, I'm not entirely sure how we ended up here, but I'm singing you some shitty song on a guitar, and you're painting something that you insist it's not me, but I know it's not. Or, excuse me. And you're painting something, you insist it's not, but I know that it's me. I don't know. You never showed it to me. It's been a year. You still carry yourself the same, and I still love you, despite knowing little more than your name. Most importantly, you're leaving the country in less than a week. So we've agreed. We can't fall in love. We've both broken that promise before we made it. It took me about five minutes after that promise to admit that I thought you were flawless, an angel, a goddess. I loved you. It took you about 30 seconds after that to admit you felt the same. So if you've never tried to cram a relationship's worth of love into a week, let me try to sum it up for you. A week of the most brilliant, loving feelings and fantastic moments, crushed by the weight of, oh my god, I'm losing you in six days, five, four, three, two, one. And despite those nights of guitar playing, painting, hot chocolate and musicals, singing and dancing, you're still leaving. So a quick press of that white dress against my waist as I grabbed you in case when we returned from our place among our stars was all I had to say goodbye. Followed by your lips against mine, trying to stop you from flying away from me, all the way to Germany. And in some pitiful attempt to keep you present, I thought I'd tell you I love you in German. But my German pronunciation is more than a little scary, so instead I just said, je t'aime mon chéri, because you love me, called my darling, even in my short French. And I wish that I wasn't saying all this in the past tense, but for some reason it's the only form that makes sense and applies to a situation. And I still wonder why all these fe excuse me. I still wonder why all these feelings of the past weren't enough to last, even despite the distance. Because my efforts weren't enough, you still left with your love, and then 48 hours of nothing. No messages, no updates. The longest 48 hours of my life, all I ever asked for was a hey, I'm alive, but nothing. No call, no text. But two days later, a message, hey, I guess I got back with my ex. You guess? Well, then are we a no or a yes? How did that even happen so fast? I thought we both thought we'd last. How could you just drop and shout at me like glass? And now, you won't even let me put myself together like glue. You still text me almost daily, hey babe, how are you? You're still with your ex in Germany. What more do you and your white dress expect to earn from me? Thank you.